All right, class. This is going to be lecture 10.5. We have one more part of the standards that I didn't know about and I found out about yesterday. And it's about the Earth standards that we have to go through. So this is just the history of the Earth. It's probably something that you've already learned about millions and millions of times. So I'm going to go through it one more time. And actually, the note sheet that you have is called the Geological Time Sheet. And we're actually going to go through that and fill that out together. So the Earth was created 4.6 billion years ago. You're going to need that. It's the bottom of your sheet. So put in 4.6 billion years ago. The Earth was completely molten, so it's going to be a molten, so it's going to be very, very hot. There was no water, no atmosphere, no land, no life. So just like many of the planets that they think about now. So right here, you can see on your note sheet I'm filling it in for you. So you should have 4.6 billion years filled in, as well as 87% of geological time was the pre-Cambrian stage. 3.6 billion years ago, an object of size of Mars crashes into the molten Earth. A material ejected by the impact went into orbit around the Earth. This material collized and formed the moon. Then we had a bombardment from space. The Precambrian life, toward the end of the Precambrian era, simple animal ocean life had emerged. So there's life in the oceans. So now we're going to the next part. We have the Cambrian, I can't read it on that, hold up. Orticovan, Silurian, Devarian, Mississippian, Pennsylvanian, Carbonius, and then we'll go through that one later, and this is the Paleozoic. The Paleozoic era a time of dramatic geological climate and evolutionary change. It's divided into six periods, Cambrian, Odovorican, Silurian, Devorian, Carb Carboniferous, Primarian, so those are the stages. So the very, very top one is going to be the Primarian, right by the 286 MYA and the 245 MYA. Camborian explosion. This was about 543 million years ago. It marked the beginning of the Paleozoic era, and it's a time when most of the major groups of animals first appeared in the fossil record. This was accompanied by a major diversification of other animals. So here's one of the animals that we found from um, fossils. Here's an invertebrate that, that was there. So the land plants in the Silurian age. The early Devorian was the fish that roamed. They're kind of scary looking. Weird looking sharks. Remember, this is just all from the fossils. They came up with these. The amphibians from the late Devorian. So this is where we're at on our sheet now. Now we're starting the next era. The Premen. The Premen mass was the mass extinction. The mass extinction, extinction was 245 million years ago. That's what the MYA stands for on your note sheet, just in case you didn't know million years ago. 95% of the marine species became extinct. Then we're on to the Mesozoic, which is the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. In the Mesozoic, there is all ages of reptiles, there, and it's divided into three periods. First one is Jurassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Jurassic was the, the earliest dinosaurs. They had the first birds. Cretaceous is the earliest mammals. Mesozoic 
The Mesozoic era ended with extinction of dinosaurs about 65 million years ago. 70% 70 of the plants, animals, and reptiles were perished. So now we are on the Cenozoic, which is the tertiary and quartary. All ages of mammals, divided into two periods, the tertiary and the quartary. This is when mammals thrived and land mammals started to dominate. And then of course there was humans. Humans did not arise until approximately 200,000 years ago. That is the end of how the earth got started. Hopefully you have your note sheet filled out. Next will be your study guide which is all about Darwin and what Darwin did. Um, some of the other people on there like James Hutton and Charles Lyell, Thomas Thelmus, okay those are all in section 10.1 so um, and it's actually put up on the timeline there so you can get all that information from 10.1. Um, just kind of looked at how they shaped Darwin's hypothesis and theory. Um, that's all the questions are asking there. You will have to look at natural selection, artificial selection, um, define the survival of the fittest, look at vesicle structures, um, home analogous structures, and that's it. And then you will have um, a small test for chapter 10. Have a great day.